When you're working on medieval buildings, it's difficult to have the impression that you can say anything new because they've been looked at and written about for ages. I've been interested in the way Gothic buildings stand up and the way they handle themselves structurally. And unfortunately for me, there's nothing written about it. Um, Masons never stopped at the end of the day and said, well, I built my cathedral this way because. And so I've been using more sophisticated technology these days to try to get new answers from the buildings. And the best technology to, that could solve certain problems like this was the laser scanner. It, it allows one, really, for the first time in the history of writing about Gothic architecture, to say things, I would say, with relative certainty. So the way it works is I had to set up a network of targets, which are just geolocated points in space. Yeah, that should be all right. And you define the density of the scan, the resolution of the scan. In other words, how many X, Y, Z coordinate points in the space do you want to acquire? And then you let it rip. I see it as a, as a way of mapping space, of doing archaeology um, that is looking back in time. For me, it's a giant detective puzzle. I look at this big stone mass, stone, iron, mortar, whatever, and I try to say, well, how did they do it? It's the age-old sort of fascination that really goes back to the fascination that I felt as a child and a nine-year-old kid looking at this big stone building, Notre Dame, and saying, how did they do that? <laughs>